So today's episode is going to be so much fun. We are doing some brainstorming all around what kind of mini courses, different types of coaching and coaches should be offering. So I thought I would do a very quick brainstorming session with you to get your juices flowing and some ideas popping f that you could use for your next mini course. So let's jump in. Welcome to the Course Creators HQ Podcast, helping you navigate the latest techniques for creating and marketing online courses. And now, here's your host, Julie Hood. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode 208. And I will tell you, I was struggling with what to talk about this week. But then once this idea came to me, I am so excited to have this episode with you because I want to talk about brainstorming your mini course ideas. And honestly, I love doing this. And so I want you to jump in on two things as right now, actually, or at the end of this episode, either way. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of this episode, I will convince you that you should jump in. <laughs> but we have two different things going on. The first one is throughout the month of September 2024, I am doing free coaching sessions on Friday mornings, all about your best next step. So if you've heard of, it's one of the best planning and productivity tools, I think, is yes, you can think about the entire plan, but what you really, really need to know is your best next step and what should I do next? And if you just keep doing, doing next, doing next, you will eventually finish the project. So the coaching sessions that I'm offering are round robin coaching sessions so that anybody who comes bring a question. We go around, we answer your question, we go to the next person, and then we just keep going around and around for an hour. So you can bring more than one question depending on how many people show up. You might have time for one. I will stay on until everybody gets at least one question answered. You might have time for 10, who knows? <laughs> so I'll put the link in the show notes so that you can join us for the sessions. And then the second thing I have going on is another mini course magic workshop. So the next one's going to be September 21st, 2024, but click the link even if you're listening later. I'll make sure the link keeps working so that if you're listening to this later, you can come join us. This is the coolest tool. You can test out new ideas really, really quickly. It lets you have 500 students for free or you can um, actually have them pay you. It can be a free sign up or you can have them pay you. You can email the people who sign up. So it's an incredible tool for you and I'd love to come have you, let's get that course together. We can put together a written and image course in a couple hours. If you're gonna do videos, it might take a little bit longer, but we're gonna actually do it as a workshop and work on it together. So I hope you'll join us on September 21st, 2024. Okay, so on to the brainstorming. I'm hoping to do 10 different coaches in 10 minutes. So let's see if I can pull this off. What should a mini course be for these different coaches? And I've picked out 10 different coach titles and let's talk about what they could offer for a mini course. So coach number one, an ADHD coach. And if you think about it, if you're helping somebody with ADD or ADHD, their effects probably almost every aspect of their lives. And so as you are trying to work with them, you could have so many different courses in general, but if we want to narrow it down and narrow it down to just a mini course topic, I want you to pick one quick and easy thing that you can help them solve. So maybe it's a mini course about how to get ready in the morning <laughs> and be efficient. Uh, maybe it is a, a mini course about how to organize your calendar and you just pick one piece of it. So you're going to show them how to use recurring meetings to keep things more organized. Or if you want to get a little bit bigger, you could like teach them how to use a digital calendar. 
but you can see those are just many topics on the concept of planning. So teaching how to use a calendar is just one piece of how do I plan my projects. So um, we're keeping it small and we need to keep it tight and short and simple because we want folks to get a win. Coach number two, a weight loss coach. Oh, there's so many different things you could do here to do a mini course. But one of the best ones I think would be to share five tools to make their weight loss journey easier. So something about the online websites maybe you could use, maybe it's physical products. Like I have a scale that automatically puts and records in my phone what my weight is. Auto, it like auto sends it so I don't have to even type it in. <laughs> uh, so like five tools, either online tools or physical tools. I think those would be a great weight loss topic, maybe um, how to do a weekend setup for weight loss so that like you spend the weekend and then you're ready on Monday to start your new weight loss journey. So those are two ideas for a weight loss coach. Okay, career coach. Oh my goodness, there's so much, so, so much you could do here. But one of the best ideas I think for a career coach is teaching people how to get a how to ask for and get a raise so a promotion or a raise so that would be a short simple one piece of your career is figuring out how to get a raise or how to get a promotion so that would be one simple thing another thing i think that would be really helpful for people with their careers would be five secrets to filling out your yearly plan because almost every corporate company has this annual plan that their employees have to fill out. So if you could give them five tips on doing that and making it faster, easier, better, I think that'd be a great simple thing to get started with. And then they'd be like, oh wait, what else does he teach? What else does she have? If she can help me with this annoying piece of my life every year that I have to fill out this thing. <laughs> How else can she help me with my career? Okay. Number four is a team coach. So this would be somebody who is working with maybe corporate teams of five to 10 people that are having to work together. So what could you teach them that would be short and sweet, but super impactful? So one thing I think that is incredibly helpful is teach everybody how to use a freaking agenda. <laughs> it's one of those things I think that has gone by the wayside and uh, because we've kind of slid away from more formal meetings per se, I think an agenda is essential to keep everybody on track to understand what the goals are of the meeting. So with a team, if you could show them how to create an agenda, just one piece of us working together, you could come and really make an impact for them. Uh, another thing would be five steps to handle a teammate who's driving you crazy. So just five ideas to uh, make that simpler to help you manage your teammates and manage your relationship so that it's not so frustrating. So you can see how these are super focused little mini courses. And we want that on purpose because we want to get people a result in a short amount of time. Okay, a family coach. So once again, it affects your entire life. So what little piece of things could you do for a family? So one thing I think would be be really fun would be how to plan a family night together and keep it simple, you know, five or six little steps to plan a family night. So maybe it's suggesting some games. Maybe it's having a pizza party where you all make your own personal pizzas. You know, something short and sweet, but a fun activity that you could do as a family. Or maybe how to plan an afternoon at the park. So you would have all the ideas and help for how to do maybe a campfire and a, a three, two, three games that the family could play together if they were going to a park for an afternoon. Just really fun, short and sweet afternoon together as a family. Okay, number six, a health and wellness coach. 
And so I'm going to throw in fitness into this group. And so because that opens up so many things that you could do as a fitness coach. But here's a couple of them. One, I would love to know the best types of shoes for different kinds of fitness. So link me to shoes for walking, shoes for exercising, shoes for hiking, shoes for if I'm going to do uh, bicycling, that kind of thing. So what are the best shoes? Or expand that out and you could do the best best workout clothing and have, a, have you know, your top 10 clothing outfits for uh, a better exercise. So that would be one fitness thing. Another thing also, if you want to give people a little bit more of a taste of how you coach and how you teach, would be to do some short workouts or maybe you do a cool down session, or maybe you do a warm up session. All of those things, I think, give you a chance to kind of show off and be explaining like, this is why you want to work with me. <laughs> Number seven, a money and finance coach. And once again, I'm going to recommend on this one that you jump in to the tools because there are so many incredible tools online to help you manage your money and your finances. And so give out each day of, let's say you had a five day mini course each day, share one of the tools that could help. And maybe you even have some specific banks that you like to work with because their fees are lower. So one day you're talking about the bank that kind of thing. Um, that's for money and fitness and finance. So you could also do, I think, uh, some kind of interesting ways to track your money. So there's some really great online tools, but things that you are already using with your clients and with your students, you just pull out a piece of it and you're sharing that. So you're not giving out your entire course, but, or I also want to say you don't want to give out the, the most effective parts of your course. So the thing that everyone is dying to find out, you don't want that to be what you're sharing, but you do want it to be a really, really useful, really, really helpful part of the puzzle. So those are the first seven and we've got three more to go. Okay, next up, we have a relationship coach. So what if you had a three day, five day, seven day journaling for your relationship and you would have the prompts for each day? Or maybe you would have some kind of a value picker. <laughs> and let me explain what I mean here. You could list out different values that someone is looking for in a relationship and have a full page of them and then have them go through and circle their top 20 and come up with their top 20 values that they want to have in their next relationship. Some kind of interactive type experience for your mini course, I think could be really helpful for a relationship coach to help them focus in on what it is they're looking for. Okay. Number nine, a retirement coach. And for this one, really look into getting a calculator that you could use or even that you could share and then talk about the different pieces of it. So for example, the, how much the retirement number and number changes based on how much you start with or what interest rate you get or how much you're submitting every month and adding to your balance. And so you're really getting to introduce them to some of the concepts that they need to be thinking about when they're retiring. So then you could use this calculator and there's a bunch of them online because so you could just use one of those or you could even create a spreadsheet for them to download, but you're walking them through some of them high level pieces of the puzzle. So that's another way to think about these mini courses is if you can teach it at the higher level and then they buy your full courses to go much, much deeper. So let's say as a retirement coach, you start maybe the high level is explaining how much of a difference the same situation could have if you had an 8% uh, return versus a 10% return. But then your course 
teaches them how do I go find a 10% return? What should I be investing in? Where should I go? So that's another distinction you can use when you're trying to figure out how can I do a mini course versus my full course is higher level concepts versus detailed how to action steps. And then the last one I will share with you for today is a website coach. And I would love like one piece of the puzzle that's super important is that headline that's on their homepage and it needs to be something besides welcome. So help them figure out exactly what should the headline on your homepage be to pull people in and get people to keep checking out your website. Or maybe it's all about the homepage, but then the full website development is something else you do. Or maybe it's one page of the site that you talk about how it should be different. Maybe it's the about page and you walk them through how to create a really good about page and why it's important and what you should have on it. So you can see we're just taking pieces of the puzzle. If you think about everything that you are working with with your audience and everything that you're helping them with and think of it as this thousand piece puzzle, what if you gave away five, 10 piece puzzle pieces so that they could, and they're the edge pieces so that they can get started. <laughs> you know, how you always go through and you put the edge pieces of the puzzle together. Well, same sort of thing is we're kind of giving them some edge pieces to get going and to get started using your mini course and then your full courses fill in the rest of the puzzle. So that's exactly the same thing that I'm doing with you. I want to help you get this mini course together because you can use it for both a lead magnet if you want to do that, or you can use it as a low dollar revenue generator. It can be a good way to connect with your coach and get to know different instructors and teachers and coaches and see how they operate. So um, remember the two things. If you want some help brainstorming your mini course idea, come to the next best step coaching that we're doing on Friday. And I hope you'll join us for that. It's free. And then join us on September 21st for the mini course magic workshop where I'm going to get you set up in a couple hours, get that mini course outlined together, maybe even get the full course together, depending on how you're pulling it out and what you're deciding to do. So if you can make some quick decisions, um, it has AI built in, so it helps us create the course really quickly. So I hope you will come join me for those two things. Have an incredible week and I will talk to you on the next episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing and sharing all of these ideas with your communities. I appreciate it. Take care. Talk to you soon.